Hey guys, it's me again. Yeah, I know. I am not dead. Hooray! School has just been a lot more difficult than I expected it to be, and I've had to spend a lot more time, so I had to reorganize my priorities, and Pokemon and YouTube kind of fell down the list. But, yeah, so... I, I will have a battle here, though. I will have a battle and there will be an update thing which is kind of what this is and I will also share what I'm going to do about black and white because yeah I've got some thoughts about that that have changed over time so I yeah I don't know if I've said this in a l previous video or not and if I did I'm sorry for being redundant and if I didn't I'm sorry for wasting your time with this but yeah, I didn't have a whole lot of faith in black and white. The first couple of Pokemon I saw, except for the cover legendaries and Tatsuruja, I think would be how you pronounce the grass starter. All the rest of them looked pretty freaking ridiculous. So, I didn't have too much faith in it. I still was planning on getting it because I knew everybody else would and it was the newest generation's always the standard for battling, but it kind of sucked that right when I got competitively into the 4th gen, I had to jump right into the 5th gen. Despite that though, this these games look amazing. I mean, I'm I'm looking at even just the battles the that one that somebody had. I think it was Hayden or King Daddy Dmac. I I don't know. I'll annotate if I'm wrong. But yeah, the, even just the one with the 4th gen Pokemon on the 5th gen game looked amazing. I mean, I didn't know moving sprites would add that much to the game, but it, it really does. It looks awesome. On top of that, there are a lot of new abilities that are pretty cool. The Dream World abilities particularly seem amazing. But yeah, I'll go over to in the Pokemon and the abilities in better detail but later but yeah I to actually just about an hour ago from the recording of this I purchased my R4 card so hopefully I will be playing this game by the end of the month I'll probably be getting white because Zarkom looks awesome and yeah so I was going to wait until the English patch or the English version came off out, but I I can't wait that long. It's it's that cool. Okay, so yes, I guess I'll start going over the Pokémon. So yeah, the first Pokémon that sort of started to renew my faith in this generation was number 0, Victini, cuz come on, look at that. It looks like a Jirachi without the big head thing and I don't know it's it's epic cute and I will definitely be using it if it isn't pushed to uber right away cuz yeah it okay I'm gonna say this now spoiler alert stop listening if you do, if you don't want to me to kinda spoil some of the game yeah I'll try and spoil as little of it as possible and everyone's probably looked on Cerebi for these anyway but I still feel better now that I've said that Okay, so Victini is a fire psychic type, and from what I understand, it has two unique fire moves, which is pretty cool. Maybe just one. Maybe it was Rashiram that had two, but whatever. And it has an ability that increases the accuracy of it and its partner's moves, which that is that is just amazing. That's like almost as good as Serene Grace on Jirachi, I'm going to think, because... Yeah, anything that increases or removes hacks pretty much is amazing. <laughs> wow, that's kind of contradictory, but whatever. He, Victini will probably be an event legendary. In fact, I know it will be. But honestly, with Pokesav, none of that matters. Um, yeah, he will be one of my competitive Pokemon for sure. If he goes to Uber, I will play in Ubers just to play with him. After Victini got released, they released the sprites of the starters evolutionary lines. And really, I facepalmed when there was another firefighting starter. That uh, that was a mistake, I think. But other than that, I also was a little bit upset that 
Tatsurugia's final evolution looked kind of just like a grass type melodic. But then I saw its stats. It is a fast, bulky Pokemon, which is pretty cool. And its Dream World ability actually, like, reverses stat ups and drops. So I was honestly hoping that Super Power would be a move tutor move. I thought I was really... I had an idea in my head for the best, like, bulky reverse booster. It was it was cool. But there are, like, no move tutor moves, which really sucks. But that's okay, because that thing will still do a lot of damage if Leaf Storm Max pretty much is a really strong stab move and a nasty plot every turn. I, am, I don't know how to get the Dream World abilities. Maybe hatch an egg of it in the Dream World. I don't know, but like I said, with Pokesav, none of that really matters. The Water Starter, um, I'm unimpressed with, but I'm not mad at it. It it looks like they mixed together Swampert and Empoleon, but that's not really a bad thing since they're both really good. I have no rem idea what its stats are, though. Zoroark is also pretty cool. Like, I, I take it to be it'll probably be the Lucario of this generation, the one that everybody thought was going to be a legendary, but it's not. But I don't really care because now I can transfer my Celebi in early game, hopefully, and get Zahora, which is pretty cool. And yeah, it just seems like an epic Pokemon, like pure dark and with illusion, it'll be a really good like surprise Pokemon. And there are also a few other Pokemon that I really like, like Gigirasu. I thought that thing was going to be like a pre-evolution of Heatran or something, but I knew that wasn't going to happen. Onosuku, I'm sorry, I don't speak Japanese, so I'm probably butchering these pronunciations. But yeah, that the new dragon type looks cool. And the other new dragon type, Sazando, it's, it's cool. It's like a three-headed pseudo giratina looking thing and it's awesome and there are also some pokemon that are like really nintendo what were you smoking a mushroom with pokeballs on its head how does that make any sense at all but i digress it's it's their fault and whatever so so yeah now i have a battle for you guys yay a new battle okay so this is against Someone from the Therapy chat, which I I remember I don't remember their name, but yeah, this is gonna be my Baton Pass team, which I just made. So yeah, I spider web him, and right there when we, he left the voice chat on, so he was like, "Oh, expletive deleted here." So yeah, he knows I'm gonna Baton Pass team him, but what he doesn't know is that that more mag mortar pretty much destroys my chain and was a horrible thing to leave in as spider webbed so yeah i switch in amy rose because i'm thinking that this is probably a mixed mag mortar because honestly that makes the most sense but so i'm gonna amnesia thinking that thunderbolt is his electric attack and he bricks breaks for no apparent reason. Maybe he thought he was going to sleep again. He gets a crit. That, I didn't notice that until now. That might have mattered. No, it didn't. Okay, so yeah. I get a plus six amnesia, but he has thunder punch. So this is pure physical, and that really sucks. So yeah, now I have plus six special de defense against the physical attacker. And my defense buffer is Vaporeon, so that kind of sucks. I really should have used Acid Armor first. Yeah, I switch in knowing I can take two, especially with the ingrain and the leftovers and stuff. So, he Thunder Punches. I was surprised that he was faster, because I should probably put Timid on this thing, but I live it. But he gets the Parahax, and I get the first turn Parahax, which double sucks. So, yeah, that is bad because now he's already broken my Baton Pass chain. So, yeah, I I am forced to switch in my Togekiss, which is meant to pass special attack boosts, and I have to flinch it to death. I know it's lame to flinch things to death, but I have to flinch it to death. And I told him on the chat, I'm like, sorry, I have to flinch you. Sorry, I have to flinch you. And that sucked. 
But that that Magmortar, I couldn't set up my team on that. Okay, so now he switches in that, and I know I can live one Ice Beam if it's not, like, completely offensive, which would be very weird for a Wall Rain to be. So, that's going down. It's scaring me. I get... He gets a crit. I live with six, and I get the freeze, but I accidentally left the Lumberry on this, which completely saved this game. So now I send in my Scizor, which is bulky and meant to pass speed, which is a really good combination for this. Yes, it's a baton pass team without a ninjask. <laughs> so yeah, I set up the agility, and I know that this is going well, so I switch that out. I switched to uh, Amy Rose to take the, which I thought was kind of weird. He had Waterfall, but whatever. I I now know I'm only going to be able to set up Aqua Ring. I'm not going to be able to set up any Amnesias, but that's okay because Aqua Ring is good to have. So, yeah, I Baton Pass back out of there predicting the water, I mean not the water, the grass attack, and I go back into Scizor. And Scizor takes the Seed Bomb like a beast and gets more back from Leftovers and Aqua Ring. And I get I set up a Focus Energy. Now don't flame me. It's a, it's a Baton Pass team, so what if I use Focus Energy? So, yeah, he's sleeping and he Leech Seeds, which is like crud. So, yeah, this, this is a very effective anti-Baton Pass team, but I get the early wake, and I set up another agility because my main sweeper is pretty slow. So, yeah, I get my Aqua Ring and Leftovers back, and then that all gets taken away by Leech Seed. So, yeah, now I'm just going to Bug Bite because I can't have this thing sleeping anything else. And I am going to get a crit. I'm not calling it hacks because I did use Focus Energy. So I kind of was expecting that to happen. So yeah, I get my Aqua Ring. I get my leftovers. He switches in immense, which is like, oh, Uber. But then I see it's a Dragonite. So yeah, now I switch in Get Wrecked, which is my Fiani, which is like my favorite Pokemon, second only to Gallade. But he gets the Burn Hacks, which I, I, I'm thinking game over. I'm thinking there's no way I could live having a Life Orb Fiani that's burned and has Leech Seed. So... I Ice Beam that Dragonite, and it's going to KO fairly easily, like, really easily. So this turn, I'm only taking Life Orb and Burn damage, and I'm getting back Aqua Ring, except not really. So he switches in a Metagross, and I Bubble Beam, because who needs Surf when you can have Bubble Beam? And Bubble Beam is going to take Metagross out, because plus two Fiani for the win. And, yeah, so I'm getting another turn of only burn damage and not leech seed. So he switches in this thing, and I grass not, not it. And I do get a crit here. I'm not sure if it mattered. If it did, I'm not sorry, because I did use focus energy. So, yeah. And I'm like, yes, I am going to pull off this sweep despite my chain being broken. Yes. So his last is a Rampardos. That's easily going to die to a Bubble Beam. I'm going to easily outspeed because I'm at plus four. So that is good game. I I feel so bad for forgetting his name. He he told me he's a YouTuber and I still forgot his name. I'm, I'm sorry. I'll put it in the description and I'll put it in the title. And I do know it is not to be the man. So don't let Josh make you think it's him. So... Dang it, I really feel bad about forgetting his name. Okay, so if if that guy ever watches this video, please tell me because I am sorry for forgetting your name. And yes, do not expect a Pokemon Black or White playthrough from me because I will not do it. Because YouTube's littered with them and go find them from better people that, that have more time than me. And... Also, the Pokemon Yellow walkthrough is discontinued until further notice. I know barely anybody watched it anyway, so it doesn't matter too much, but I'm still not going to put any more episodes up unless I get like a better response until I have more time. So, that's it. Bye, guys.